Okay, uh, I'm gonna go back to the line, all right? So the, I think we were a little right. bit forward. I just get irritated with this thing, you know? Like, why isn't the game capturing? Well, in some games like this, you need to open the... You need to open the... Oh, you need to open OBS as admin, guys, and then you need to open the game after. It's very weird. Um, yeah, we're just gonna go past this part. I think oh, we oh. were a little... Go ahead and get your daily offerings again, I suppose. <laughs> Right here, after you read your line, right? I said, um, what, what are you doing? Okay, good. Go ahead. Um, uh... Damn it. Get the words out. Talk it in. Oh, no, it's... <clears throat> Talk it in. Sarah could seem to understand what I was trying to say and finish my sentence for me. What are you doing here, Arimura? Uh-huh. I was talking to Kurusu about the culture festival. Oh, uh, okay. Well, just, you know, typical game capture issues that pissed me off. Nothing new, Eric. <laughs> well, whatever. I'll be going, I guess. Sorry, Kurusu. Kurusu waved a hand and told her not to worry. If you can't do it, you can't. I'll tell the teachers that the literature club won't be participating in the culture festival, but... Yes? You're absolutely sure you can't tell me what's going on, right? We girls have our secrets, you know. Alright. But I won't be able to help you out next year, okay? Right. Bye-bye. The girl put her bag on her shoulder and bowed to us and went to leave. Your line is a. Uh, it's literally a. Uh. Maybe <laughs> he's cutting out again. Yep, he definitely is. He dipped. <laughs> Okay, time to drag him back in. Why are we having this with you already? Maybe we should just go to the community night. Well, then people are going to come in here. Nope. Hello? Hello. Hi. It did the thing again. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait. I still haven't asked you about the things I need to. Her name it was... We do like murder here. In games. <laughs> Ari Mura. My voice was loud enough that I made her jump a little. That scared me. You've got a lot of energy. Uh, oh, sorry. No, it's fine. What is it? Uh, I'm sorry I was so loud. I mean, no, listen, um... My first was, face was turning red from nervousness. Up, like, like ah! Damn it, this was always what happened the first time I talked to someone. What should I ask? Water time. Thank you, Link. Thank you. I hope you napped well. Okay, chat. Positive or negative? <laughs> the Lulu timer. Oh yeah. boy. Oh boy. The Lulu or negative? <laughs> I want to death. Okay, death it is. Time for yeah. murder. Um, in the hotel. The hotel? What were you doing in that hotel? A moment. It felt like her body had moved just for a moment. It's just, just a teensy bit to the right. Okay. Do, do, do. Boop, boop. And okay. Amir Arimura. I could see Karusu frown in the corner of my eye. She was looking at me. 
Her expression hadn't changed, but for some reason it felt like she was looking over. The the Luluan. Ah, <sighs> I'm more aside annoyed. Right, right. I'll confess. Confess? No way to murder. I was hunting old men. Oh. <laughs> Do you know what I mean by hunting? I'll go find a guy on the street and tell him he gets one go with me for 10,000 yen. And then when we get to the hotel, I tell him to take a shower first. And while he's in the shower, I invite all my friends in. Her friends? Then we tie up the naked old man and take a bunch of pictures, then steal all the cash in his wallet. He's doing something illegal, so he can't go to the police. It's the perfect crime. In other words, she had very scary friends. But last time, the guy decided to fight back. We got pissed off. And we killed him! No one said a word. By the way, I know all your names and faces now. So when you're out late at night, be careful. My friends may come pay you a little visit. That was actually the least brutal bad ending so far. <laughs> bad scenario. It was a possibility, wasn't it? I couldn't think of any other good reason for her to be in the hotel. An awkward silence ensured us as we waited for an answer. So you were the Heiko student who came into the room? Her tone of voice was perfectly normal. There was no surprise or anger, just a flat level tone. But somehow that struck me as much more. Can you say that aloud for me? Were you the one who went into that room? What? Silence. Is it messing up again? Poor Titus. <laughs> this sucks. Why does he have this issue? He wants to go to community night. It's not like it's gonna do anything. Okay. Hello. Hi. I hope this does something. Okay. So he said. That's right. Hmm. Let me, uh, just private that way people don't just join. Whoa. Where'd it go? It's perfect. Okay. She got a wire. I see. I couldn't tell if she cared or not. So, what were you doing in that hotel? I heard the door opened on its own, and that's how you got in, is that true? Huh? The door? The door opened on its own? She knew about that? I nodded. Can you say that aloud? Huh? It, it's true. It opened from the inside. Oh no, wait, Thanos. Hold up, hold up. Reactive is silly. Anyway. <laughs> I see. And then she seemed to be looking me over again. What was going on here? Um, I'm a rat. Is there something? Anyway, goodbye. Arimura ignored Kurus's question and went to leave. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, no need to be so polite. I'm younger than you, and... What the hell? <laughs> You're going to be killed, Takuru Miyashiro. She got up and real close and personal, please. Those were her last words before she left the room. She didn't seem at all surprised that I had questioned her, but I froze solid. We're going to die. We're scrolling on the internet on... on, uh... Tweepo! Tweepo? Tweepo.jp.top Let's go. What the heck is this thing? Okay, let's read this, I suppose. Creepy as fuck. This is a sumo sticker, isn't it? It actually looks kind of cute! 
Congrats on 500 retweets. What the heck is this thing? Low, low, low. Who put this on Hachinko? <laughs> Suma with it. Congrats on 1,000 retweets. Give me a break. I love Hachiko, but I don't care about this creepy dog. Who put this up on Hachiko? <laughs> What's up with this thing? Cute, huh? Okay, it's the same comment. <laughs> it's the same fucking comment. At the same time... We finally got some character development. Dogen, Zaka, Dogen Zaka Shibuya. The sky had been overcast all day, and now it had finally begun to rain. Some of the news media that had been swarming around the love hotel decided it was a good time to go home. Others just found, took refuge in their vans, frowning. Meanwhile, Shinjo's mind raced as quickly as the men trying to flee the storm. What's going on here? Everything had started right after midnight. Hinai Arimura, the Heiko girl, had refused to give even her name until he'd relayed Mamose's message to her. But as soon as she heard it, her attitude changed. His only choice now was to continue to do everything Mamose's kid told him to do. The first thing she had said was that there was almost no chance Arimura was the killer and that it was safe to let her go. The second thing she'd said was that it would be smarter to let her go and see what she did. The third thing that she'd said was that even if they did get some answers out of her, he wouldn't be able to make sense of them. Tinjo had used every bit of his authority to get her released. He'd been forced to suck up to some people he didn't really like, and in the end, she would be monitored and questioned by the police daily. Since they hadn't known if she'd had anything to do with Kakita's death, they'd used her assault on the police officer to bring her in. Either way, last evening marked 48 hours since her arrest. They had to decide whether to let her go or seek a warrant for detention. They hadn't found any physical evidence connecting her to Kakita's murder, and Arimura herself said, I don't remember anything. That was all she said, in fact. Provisional release at this point felt like a bit of a stretch of his authority, but it was a sensible decision. If anything, he wasn't sensible. He here wasn't sensible. What? If anything, he wasn't sensible. It was the fact that he was doing everything Mimosa's acquaintance asked of him. He didn't have a plan to follow. This was the first time that it happened, he thought. He only managed to be successful at his age around what Mimosa called the hardheads in Section 1 was that how he knew how to be flexible. The reason that many police officers could be stubborn and hard-headed was that most of the time, that was how you solved the case. Shinjo understood that the rules they clung to so fiercely, both written and unwritten, were the project, a product of valuable experience. But he also understood that the unorthodox methods his senior detective friend had taught him were a weapon in their own right. Even if the higher-ups didn't like using them, he, they brought him success. One good example was the time the prof the profilers had told them that the person behind a string of assaults was a man in his 20s who never left his house. He'd found out that the culprit was actually a runaway girl in her late teens who lived in a net cafe. He'd matched the internet logs that Section 1 had gathered with the data held by the Social Safety Section, a group that was on notoriously bad terms with Section 1. In the end, he'd cracked the case by logging it onto an online game and tracking down several of its players, including the girl behind its attacks. Sinjo was, if nothing else, confident that he was capable of not letting preconceptions keep him from making the best choice. But this time, not only did he not know what was the best choice, he didn't even know if the choices he was making were good or bad. This is ending up just like Mimosa said it would. If he couldn't change things fast, he might end up taking off the case. Mm. He looked at his watch and realized something. The man he was waiting for wasn't here. It had cost him quite a bit to get permission to show him the crime scene, and he was over 30 minutes late. Mimosa is there was no way I could miss him. He didn't know what he looked like, but there was no way the officer standing guard outside could miss him. Hey! Wait, you! 
He heard a loud voice from the hallway. Shinjo decided that before he let him into the scene, he'd give him a lecture about his tardiness. He stopped, surprised. He didn't expect what he saw. Pretty purple hair. He convinced himself that anyone weird enough to want to see a crime scene had to be a guy. But she looked like she'd be very pretty with makeup on, even if she wore none. A frown was plastered on her face and her long hair was half-heartedly tied behind her back. And she was wearing a white lab coat, but under it was... My uniform. This was bad. This was the uniform from Heiko Academy. The same school... Arimura and the two kids who'd snuck into the crime scene attended. Shinjo motioned to the officer to let her pass and remembered the last name he'd been given by Mamose. She's hot. Are you Kunisato? Oh my god, I'm yawning over here. It's not your fault. <clears throat> yeah, I'll leave it to you all. So you don't need my confirmation. There's no time to waste, as you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I gotta nurse this dumb cop. Okay, later, Chris. Rip. Are we the dumb cop? And then she hung up on the, flo the phone and glared at Shinjo. She showed no sign of apologizing for her lateness or gawking at the scene of a murder. This was her. It had to be. When he saw how arrogantly she was behaving, he knew immediately that this has to be the Kunosato person that Momose had told him about. <laughs> yeah, right? He felt a little overwhelmed by her, but tried to make his voice as strong as he could. He's kind of cute, though. <laughs> Are you Kunosato? Knowing Momose, I figured I'd be ready for anything. But I can't let a young girl into a crime scene. A <laughs> young girl, yeah. <laughs> Don't act normal when you're surrounded by things that aren't normal. Didn't she tell you that would get in your way? Her first name's Mio. Mio, it's me, Mio. Hey. She ignored Shindo's words and walked right past him. She stepped right on to top, right on top of the number plates that forensics had put on the ground to identify the locations of evidence. Then she looked at the blinds placed on the window to stop the media from looking inside and stopped. Shinjo found himself becoming annoyed at her attitude, particularly what she just said about him in English. So top or not, you're, you're going to do what I tell you right now. People think that every corpse is dead. Huh? You've got ears that can understand English and you don't watch Venture. She put her hand up to the blind that she'd been looking at. What are you doing? I'm asking if you really think this room is the only crime scene in this case. She kept her eyes on the exposed window. As she tossed him a Pokecom, she fished out of her pocket. Shinjo grabbed it without thinking and looked down at it. He was stunned. It was footage of the room he was in right now. That was probably Kakita dead and Hinai Arimura. What is this? A video that was just uploaded to the web. Her answer made Shinjo feel pissed off at everything, including himself. Why didn't he notice? Why did he just have to be shown this by a girl he just met? Outside the window? He grabbed onto the window frame, looking for the spot where the video had been recorded, but all he saw was the external wall of the building, slick with rain. There was one, only some kind of strange, creepy sticker there. Hey. Shinjo yelled out into the hallway. The officer outside heard the tone of his voice and rushed inside. Shinjo pointed at the window and said, 
steal off the building next door right now and get me forensics. And then track down where this video... I don't know about the video, but you're probably not going to find anything next door. There's no sign of a camera having been placed on that wall. Huh? I copied the data at the security entrance and Fri Freeze? Freezia's team is going over it, but we're not going to find anything. Probably. I hope not. She must have been enjoying this because Kunosato's frown twisted into a mischievous bully's expression. Again, he didn't understand, and he didn't have time for this. He ignored her, and orders meant to call the building, to seal the building, call forensics, and track down where that video was filmed. With that finished, he turned back to her. Is that why you were late? Focus on securing the scene. At Chan picked up on this video right after it was posted, and it was only uploaded 40 minutes ago. Already more than 5,000 people have seen it! You don't think any of them are with those media people down below? Wait, you can't. <laughs> They're shuffling in. This is Watabe with- I think this was a guy, right? No. Oh no? This is Watabe with Nico Nia News. I'd like your comment on. Uh, I don't know if there's a guy or we could just I'll do it. <laughs> I'm with Kai. I'm with Kaiori TV. I'd like to ask you about. Get out. No pictures. <laughs> he could hear yelling coming from the hallway. Damn it! That net reporter again. <laughs> Shinjo ran out into the hallway, infuriated. Are you with Section 1? Did you see the video? Please don't come in without permission. We have no comments. D no pushing! <laughs> Did you see it or not? No comment. <laughs> Kunosato was still looking outside the window as she listened to the commotion in the hallway. She stuck her hands in her pockets and stared at the sticker on the opposite wall the way a person on top of a building stares down at the tiny people in the street below. Hey, how does it feel? The sticker pictured two ugly overlapping faces. The rain made it look like they were crying. If there was any witness, it's you, right? Kunosato smirked like a fighter facing down a worthy opponent. October 2nd, 2015, Friday. Time passed. It was now almost midnight. Under a bridge in Shibuya. She walked with her head down so that others couldn't see her strange face. She was dragging her legs, so her body tilted a little. She didn't have an umbrella, so the rain that had fallen that evening made her long bangs cling to her forehead. Water dripped off of them. The eerie eyes that poked out from between her locks of hair looked like those of an animal hunting its prey. No one was moving but her. Normally there would be people here at this hour, but the town left her alone as if it had sent something. She disappeared into an alley without anyone else noticing her. It was several minutes later when they appeared there. Ah, I got my iPad. <laughs> a girl less than 10 years old and a woman over 70. Oh, that's a woman. The old woman must have been blind because she carried a stick and had her... Yes?
I got handed cookies now. Oh my god. <laughs> nice. Alright, they're warm. It's just as if I didn't just brush. Um. The old woman must have been blind because- Oh, I already read this. And a little girl was carrying something far too big for a tiny frame. Neither of them were carrying umbrellas and both were soaking wet. They walked at a slow place. Perhaps they knew the path well, or perhaps they didn't care because they paid no attention to anything around them. Mm. And then for the first time, the old girl saw something and stopped. Mm -hmm. The old woman stopped as well, and the only sound in the alley was the sound of the rain. The girl stood there for a full minute. Eventually, she turned her head and led the older woman away. All that's left was the rain. What? Oh. And the things on the wall. The hell? <laughs> a video of the scene has been passed around on the internet. <clears throat> the footage in question shows the body of a man who committed suicide in a love hotel. It was past midnight, and all the news programs were talking about the video that had been uploaded to the internet that afternoon. Since there was a dead body in the video, none of these programs were actually playing it, but the newscasters had all described it. It was as if they were telling people to watch the rest on the web. Which means that people who are just hearing about this now will be looking at the internet, huh? Hmm. <laughs> Twitter was the best way to see what people were looking at any given moment. I opened it and took a look. Where can you see the thing they're talking about on TV? This is getting exciting! I saw it, but I should know better than to watch this at night. Someone tell me a funny joke or something. That's about what I expected. Mm. Mm-hmm. Can you maybe read the next few lines while I eat the cookie? <laughs> sure. Thanks. Whenever I searched for a keyword related to the case, I found tons of tweets about the video in the news broadcast. The address of any page or aggregator site posting the video was getting retweeted at an incredible rate. Of course, this was nothing new. He narrates better anyway. <laughs> Atchan had already been in festival mode since the first video had been first posted that evening. The video on the aggregator wicker, er, uh, the video on the aggregator wiki <laughs> had been quickly deleted, but someone had saved it and uploaded it to a bunch of other sites. Those sites had deleted it too, so others had to repeat the process. After the news, the threads on Atchan had gotten bigger. Revolving dead, huh? That sounds like it's going to be what they call it. I didn't know who'd first come up with that name, but more and more people on Achan were using it. It was probably a play on the revolving bed the body had been found on. Since the body had been spinning too, the case was literally about the revolving dead. Atchan, Twitter, and all the aggregator sites and pages dealing with the case were in an uproar. I looked around and didn't see any new information. I'd seen it in person myself. I could easily tell when someone was lying or guessing. It's past midnight. What about this? There were no big updates on Shibuya News either. The top of the page was about the uploaded video, but it was basically just a rehash of the existing information. I thought that with all this fuss, she'd be putting on a web radio broadcast. But maybe she was busy. There was nothing about the sumo stickers or Arimura. Which made sense, I guess. Even Kai wasn't psychic. Only we and the police knew about Arimura, and only we knew about the stickers. The sumo stickers. Damn it. I'd been planning on checking to see if there was a sticker around the scene of leaky noise today. <laughs> I 
gosh. Don't. Mm -mm. You're going to be killed, Takuru Miyashiro. I couldn't get the words she'd whispered out of my head. In the end, it had started raining, and I'd gone with Ito's plan of trying to get more information about the video and learn more about Arimura. I hadn't made much progress with either. Of course, it had surprised me that Caruso... <laughs> that Caruso hadn't said anything. I've got a couple bites left, don't worry. <laughs> what did she mean I'm going to be killed? The question came back to me again for the hundredth time, and I still had no answer. What was she warning me about? Why had she told me I was going to be killed? Had I pissed her off somehow? No, it felt more like she was talking about someone else killing me. Then maybe it didn't matter if she hated me or not? And the timing didn't make sense either. We weren't talking about anything weird. We were just talking about the case. Was she telling me that if I kept looking into this, I would be killed? But that didn't make sense either. The police had ruled the death at the Love Hotel a suicide. It was a strange way to kill yourself, sure, and after seeing it, I couldn't believe it was just a simple suicide, but... Did that mean Takeda had been murdered after all? Murdered by whoever had tried to come into the room? But the police had told me I'd been mistaken, and Ito had told me I couldn't prove it logically. Damn it. It was no good. It didn't make any sense. I was going to be killed? Had I crossed some line? And you're going to get killed, Takaru Miyashiro. I tried saying it out loud and shivered a little. You can finish the segment if you want. Was I scared? Or... <laughs> was I excited? <laughs> I, could, I could feel myself start to laugh. That was fine. That was just fine with me. If I'd crossed some line, I'd find out what it was. That was the difference between me and those morons on the internet. I could do it. I had lots of clues. First was Hinai Arimura herself. And then... The sumo stickers. I'd only seen them at two of the crime scenes so far, but if I could find one at Leaky Noise too, I'd have a clue that no one else in the world had. I should go take a look tomorrow. And then... There was the video that had gotten uploaded to the internet. Who had upped it and why? Hmm? played the video one more time, then realized something. Wait a second. Why? Here, too? It was a common thing you found in videos, so I'd never really noticed until now, but... And I hadn't seen any comments on the internet saying anything about it either, but... Why did they use this effect? There was something weird at the start and end of the video. It was on the screen for less than a second, but at the start, the image appeared from the bottom to top. Uh. Oh. And then at the end. Are you done eating cookies? Yeah, I've been done. I said you could finish the segment if you want, or I could read whatever. <laughs> you can start reading again. Okay. It went black from top to bottom. Goodness. These weren't particularly unusual effects. The one at the start was often used in TV shorts and movies when the character woke up. Shows. Of course, this was when the camera was showing his point of view. The one at the end was often used when a character was falling asleep, or just before they passed out. Sometimes you could play both at high speed to make it look like someone was blinking. 
It was called a wipe. It was a method of transitioning one video, I'm sorry, transitioning video from one image to another. This video was clearly taken from next to the La Hotel and almost perfectly at eye level. From the distance and angle, that much was clear. I spent so much time looking through a camera that I knew exactly how to judge the difference, the distance between it and the things it saw. I was sure that if I asked the rest of the newspaper club, they'd agree. But the side of the building where this video was taken was a sheer wall. I could see that for myself in the video I'd taken. The only things I could see outside the window were a wall and a sticker. The upscaled video looked like it had been taken from someone's eyes. Suddenly, a dumb idea occurred to me. I looked at the picture onto the sticker on the wall that I'd printed out. Nah. I shook my head to drive away the stupid delusion. I needed to stay calm and logical. Tomorrow I could go where the camera had probably been paced, placed. What? That was random. <laughs> Amy. That's a lot of words. Right. I'm not reading them. The test images? Oh, snap. And Lucas is gonna kill him. The zoom in, though. <laughs> yes, we see. We see them. Rikishi sticker? The fuck? I got started chapter two. Oh, if you asked me, all the people in my class were ignorant children. Are we someone else now? When I was in fourth grade, only about one in six kids had a smartphone. Oh, no. A bunch of them would use their phones during breaks to pull up secret web pages made by the kids at school or dumb joke sites. They'd pass them around to become the center of attention, and each would be the leader of their own little group. One day, one of these leaders was upset because he couldn't visit a site he'd been able to access the day before. Some of the kids in his group suggested that it was broken and that maybe the address had changed. I told him, it's internet filtering. Your parents contacted the cell phones company to limit your online access. The leader looked stunned for a moment, but then he yelled at me for not making stuff up. Oh, yelled at me to not make stuff up. The rest of the group joined in. <laughs> I knew I was right. I wasn't making anything up. I didn't understand why they were all yelling. Later, I realized that I was the class misfit, and he was the boss of the little group. He didn't like that I had shown him up. I only went to school once in a while, but when I did, something like that always happened. I was sick of it. I wanted to show the rest of the class I was better than they were. I wanted to shock all those wrongsiders. When I snuck inside, I found a place filled with true darkness unlike any I'd ever experienced. I could heal her gasp behind me. Okay. Serica didn't answer. She just clung to me as if seeking escape from the darkness around us. Go home. Serica quickly shook her head. It's okay. We still haven't found any clues about Amy and... I don't want to be in that house. You too, right, Taku? I thought for a second and nodded. For her, that was probably the real reason. Okay, let's go. Mm. Sarika nodded back, but even in the darkness, I could see that her lips were quivering. She was scared. Maybe I'm lucky. What I wanted in this situation wasn't a brave comrade who would go boldly forward with me, 
but a friend who would shiver pathetically behind my back. What the f No matter what happened, I had to protect Serica. Having her there made me feel a little better like that. I brought my focus back to what was going on around me and started to softly walk forward. Oh. Okay. Is the future you dreamed about or something? I woke up from the usual dream. For once, I hadn't been sweating in my sleep. In fact, I felt better than usual. I booted up the PC, checked my email, and then loaded all the major newspaper and news sites up at once. It was how I usually started my morning. I felt extremely alert. I could probably finish my usual routine in less than an hour. Yeah. That's right. I'm not a kid anymore. I won't give up half lighter like I did before. This time the mystery I needed to solve was right in front of me. Have you ever seen this st sticker on a street light, on an abandoned photo booth, on the back of a mailbox, on or on road signs? Hmm? These. Strange stickers which look like the two faces of the faces of two fat men overlapping are called sumo stickers. The first time people started talking about them was back in 2007. They were big enough that at one point people were talking about them on TV. After the 2009 Shibuya earthquake, everyone just stopped talking about them, but. Lately, they've appeared around Shibuya again. This was found yesterday, for example. At first, these stickers may appear to have been put up at random, but they actually all have something in common. Maybe. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised. This, this, and this. These three stickers were found near the bizarre the sites of the bizarre deaths that the whole city has been talking about. This was put up on the karaoke box opposite the apartment where Don't Look At Me took place. This was put up on a streetlight near Leaky Noise. This was put up on the Love Hotel opposite the scene of Revolving Dead. That's right, all of these were placed near the scene of the death. Some of you may think this is a coincidence, but... Don't Look at Me and Revolving Dead took place in a fifth story condo in the third level of a story love hotel. And both of these stickers were placed high up on the fifth and third floors of the buildings opposite to them, as if they were looking down on the scene. Leaky noise is no different. It was placed on a streetlight looking directly over the scene. Is this really just a coincidence? Who created these stickers? Why are they being put up? And they do they have anything to do with all these strange deaths? We'll continue our investigation to find out. Finally. Don't Look at Me took place on September 7th. Yiki Noise took place on September 19th. Revolving Dead took place on September 29th. Have you all noticed that these three incidents took place on the same dates as the new first three new generation madness killings six years ago? If the sumo stickers have something to do with what's going on in Shibuya right now, then maybe they have something to do with what happened six years ago. Views five. Oh, we're playing as Shinji now. Oh, dope! Yay! Okay, so, what I wanted to do for Shinji was I wanted to give him a funny voice because I missed doing those. Yeah, yeah, you so. can! Views 5. 
That means no one but us has seen it yet, right? Is that Pizza Boy? I know, it's the Kakaroo. <laughs> yep, it's the I miss him. And oh, okay. I thought we were playing. Well, as... we, we haven't had it up for more than twenty-four hours, but it's a pizza, I'm Italian, a pepperoni, a toni, a pizza. Hey. Is another video tag Shibuya that's just amateur reporting on those arson cases and it's got over 100 views. Yeah. Wait, this video is just a compilation of some rumors that's off the occult board and it's got over 3,000. <laughs> if you live in Shibuya, the ghosts of the people who died in the earthquake will possess you and give you strange powers. This really got 3,000 views? Uh, uh, hey, are you listening? <laughs> yeah, yeah, some of my favorite voices he did for uh, Raging Loop. <laughs> Ugh, I don't feel well. I tried my hardest to avoid looking at it directly, but screwed up. The con's coming up! In two months! Do these Jeez. stickers creep you out that much? They are really creepy. Well, they're certainly not what I'd call cute. You look at guru pics all the time, so you're used to this stuff, right? Titus, she should read chat. You maniac. Hold up. <laughs> let, me, let me check chat real quick. You got another light. <laughs> up, up. It's okay, man. I, it's okay. The chat hasn't. Uh, fucking updated for me, so I can't see it. But no, I don't think that has anything to do with it. She likes your funny voice, and she said she loves you. I love you too, Star. I raised my head off the desk. Ito's Pokecon was displaying the news video, which me made and uploaded to Nico Naya last night. The one about the sumo stickers. The thumbnail was a close-up of that sticker. It's not that scary, bro. Oh my gosh, it's a fucking sticker. <laughs> it's two fat men. Sumo. Again? Dude, what is this game anymore, bro? I'm so confused. Damn it, calm down. It was just a hallucination. You imagined it. You looked again and it wasn't there. I'm back! Hey, what's wrong, Taku? Nothing. I almost jumped out of my chair when the door opened. I turned around and saw Serika frowning. Oh no! Positive, positive! We can't go negative on my sweetie. Look into my eyes, oh no! Oh no, what is, what is chat think? Chat, what do you want? What do you think? Positive or negative? Ooh. What do we do? I know what you want. Well, Star wants negative. Oh man! But Serica! Fine. How do I do it again? It's... Oh, you press the L2. I messed up! Up. Hold on, hold on. We can go positive? No, I'll go negative. I just don't know the button. Hold on. Um, it's one of these. No, 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 no. I gotta go back. Arrgh. Hello, quilt. I am, uh. No, 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 no. I pause. I promise negative. I gotta swap it. I don't know the button. Okay, I got it, I got it, okay. Taco gets a calorie yeah. black in a mountain What's view. That? I went negative. I don't know why you don't get tired of this stuff. Stop hassling me about it. Um, hold on, you missed like a bunch of lines. Oh. Uh, Quilt, I don't just randomly add people, sorry. Can you tell me what they were? Because I can't see them. So, I'm gonna say no. Uh, 
I said nothing. It's nothing. What's that? You would say, hmm? Food. You're the one who told me to go buy it. <laughs> hmm? right. You want me spend to spend all of lunch time going around the school t <laughs> taking video of the preparations for the fair, so I could have had the this time to use as I please. I'd miss I'd miss lunch. What a pain. Here you go, Shin. A ham sandwich and <laughs> Cool, thanks. Okay. Thanks for you said how could get the calorie block. Oh, thank you. <laughs> This is the most effective way to get a balanced diet. Oh no. You're gonna get a stomach ache. Hey, wait a second. Ito suddenly became very upset. He slammed his hands down on the table and stood up. This isn't a ham sandwich, it's a tuna sandwich. Hmm? Really? Is he allergic? Fuck is the <laughs> fuck is wrong with you, bitch? I asked for a ham sandwich. Whoa, whoa, baby, calm down. <laughs> That's strange. I was sure I'd bought you one. Oh, get me a new one right now. <laughs> what? Who cares? That's not that much difference. But <clears throat> there's not much difference between a ham sandwich and a tuna sandwich. Hell, the hell did you just say, whore? <laughs> Shinji would never talk like this. You don't like tuna sandwiches? They're good, you dick. <laughs> no one cares about your goddamn tuna sandwich. Today, I feel like a ham sandwich. <laughs> if it's that important to you, go get one yourself. I don't... <laughs> I was nice enough to get you a sandwich, so there's no reason for you to get mad at me. Because you're the dumb woman who screwed it up. <laughs> oh, this is great. Go ahead. Yo. Calm down. It's just a sandwich. There's no need to get so upset. <laughs> it's not just a sandwich. <laughs> I tried to move between them and Ito struck me in the chest. He hit me hard enough to knock me to the ground. <laughs> oh, star hugs. It's okay. What was that for? Shut up, Miyashiro. No one cares about your dumbass. All I care about is my sandwich. <laughs> I never liked Omoe's attitude anyways. She always spends her time fussing over you and then making fun of me. I do not. What the hell is your problem? God, you're stupid. Why don't you just slit your wrists and die? <laughs> oh my god. What did you say? <laughs> um... Ito ran over to her. Oh, he's gonna choke her, chat! I thought he was going to heal her, but he didn't. He put both his hands around her neck and started to squeeze. Oh, no! If anybody's <laughs> gonna die. It's you, bitch. Go get me my motherfucking ham sandwich. Who the hell wants to eat a tuna sandwich? I'm dead. I will straight up fucking murder you if you don't get me that sandwich. This is amazing. <laughs> the writing of this game can be great. Uh, Ito had totally lost control. He was staring at Serika with bloodshot eyes. Come on. Stop <laughs> it. Why are you fighting over ham sandwich anyways? You'll yeah. end up killing all of them if you keep that up. It's amazing. It's... Pizza Man strikes again. Uh, uh. Serika moaned in pain. She was flailing her arms and legs and trying to escape his grasp, but he was a lot stronger than she was. Drool oozed out of the side of, of her lips. <laughs> it was... Stop it, Ito! Uh, oh. I said shut up. Try and stop me and I'll kill you too. Oh? Delusion over? Yeah. <laughs> 
and suddenly her body started to spasm. Her eyes rolled up into her head and her body went limp. Oh. Ito let go, and she fell to the floor like a puppet with its strings cut. She's dead. All the way is dead. That's what you get for messing with the ham sandwich. That's what you get. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> that was amazing. Poor Sarah Ko is getting the short end of the stick. For sure, Star. Hmm? You say something, Yashiro? What? This is a good ham sandwich. <laughs> Ito cocked his head at me a little as he ate his ham sandwich. Fucking delicious. <laughs> Is that a ham sandwich? Shinji, are you okay? I'm not giving you any. That's fine. I don't want to start any huh? <laughs> As for Sarah, because she was pestering Kazuki as she played her game. Come on, tell me, Hana. Who are you talking to? Tell me, tell me. Mm. Hana doesn't talk. She, she was... literally just makes noises. I know. She was certainly relaxed, but in the real world, danger could strike at any minute. Me, Serika, and Ito could die at any time for any reason. Like over a ham sandwich. Yeah. Why was I thinking about something so gloomy while the sun was out? Was I tired? Hey. On the way. <laughs> All right, Star, lay it low, girl. Ito said to hey, Serica. Maybe I do. For some reason, that was enough to startle me. Where's the vice president? Oh, Serica froze. I don't think she'll be here today. She's getting ready. Um, she's busy getting ready for the festival. And non. It's been kind of weird lately. She doesn't look like she's doing too good. I wonder what's wrong, she whispered. Go get a sandwich, girly. By lately, she probably meant Ooh. since after Nono met Arimura. Sandwiches. I made myself a delicious sandwich last weekend, right? Really? It was like part it was like part grilled cheese, part BLT. Okay, bet. So I started by grilling two pieces of bread with cheese on top of them, right? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. And then I put uh, turkey, bacon, Ooh. lettuce, and Ooh. tomato Ooh. on on it, right? Yes, yes, yummy. And then I put them together. Yes, I and hear. Grilled you. it a little <laughs> bit longer. Uh huh. And uh, it was delicious. Uh, yeah, now I want one. <laughs> Thanks for sharing your story. It was true that after that, she'd given up on telling me not to follow the case. Either way, thanks to that. Aww. Oh, are you guys IRL right now? No. Oh, well, she said she bought you a sandwich in there. He did. Oh. I'm. She had it delivered to me. <laughs> oh, nice! I see what you mean. Yeah, it was the uh, it was a chicken parm sandwich. It was yummy. actually really tasty. Yummy, yummy! I'd been able to focus on the case without being interrupted since she'd met Arimura, huh? It was very nice of her, though. It was <laughs> because we didn't have any uh, like because the dinner that mm -hmm. they had here wasn't anything that I liked particularly. Yeah. So um. I told her that I was still hungry, and she was like, I'm gonna buy you a sandwich or something. I was Aww. like, okay. Night star. Okay. Hmm? Uh, okay, we can talk while we eat. Let's get started, Kazuki. Uh. Can you close out of ESO2 for a second? We're going over the info on this case. Uh. She may have just been waiting for something to spawn, or maybe she was just good at stopping at a stopping point. Maybe at a good stopping point, because she quit the game with much less cajoling than I expected. She started to print out data from the PC. 
Now then, there was a lot of new info, but I'd spent so much time making a video that the board was the same way it had been. It was time to go over it. First, I should start with what I can't put on the map. The space on the right is open. Let's start by putting the stuff that we still don't know a lot about there. What do you mean? You know, like that video. I see. Okay, then. Ito forced himself to swallow what he was eating. Let's put up any videos that might have something to do with the case here. Yeah, that's the way to go. So the video that was uploaded to the wiki has footage of the inside of the Love Hotel room, taken from the outside, so... Oh, we gotta do this again? Yep. It's the one on the bottom left. Hmm. Thank you. And here's the summary. It's because of this video, isn't it? That... I had that... Then I had that weird hallucination. It was just a plain old wipe, so why did it seem so strange? Taku, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? Just listen for now, okay? Okay. Um, where was I? Ito, they never caught the guy who uploaded the video, right? Yeah. It was a big festival online over the weekend, though, since it got reported on TV. That's right. People on the internet liked to make fun of TV and newspapers, but the biggest cause of online festivals was mainstream, mainstream media attention. But there's been no updates, which means nothing new to talk about for three days. Is it dying out? Given the nature of what happened, it won't die out fast, but... Oh, there was that thing with Koshin on the weekend too, right? Huh? Oh no, I didn't know what he meant. Oh, yeah. That thing. What do you mean? Ocean's the biggest company involved with the rebuilding work, right? They're also involved with those security cameras going up all over town. Somebody started complaining about how the cameras were an invasion of privacy, and this guy at Koshin acted like an arrogant dick. I think there was actually a lawsuit filed this morning. Yeah. Yeah, that happens all the time. Hmm... So people are starting to talk about that. I see, so that was it. People are starting to say that the video was a prank or a fake. The majority think that it's real or shutting them down. So it was self-eating then? Either way, without fresh fuel, it eventually would have to go out. Well, I understand why people would think it's a prank or a fake. But after having been there, I knew it wasn't that. That's right. I should put up the video of the room, too. Kazuki, can you edit out something from the Love Hotel video for me? Mm. Okay, that's all. I guess this, too. Why was he putting that up there? Why? You don't need to put the newspaper club's video. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's creepy. <laughs> Sorry. See, even the self-proclaimed girl says so. We all know what might be related to the case, right? 
And these stickers might be the key, right? Uh-uh. Ew, why are we going? <laughs> Maybe, but... Listen, they aren't as creepy as you're late. making them out to be. Come on, I'm putting them up. Damn it! You can only say that because you haven't seen it with its eye open. Well, it actually hadn't opened. Jeez, are you a girl? You know what I do to girls. <laughs> oh dear. I demand that they go make me a sandwich, and when they get it wrong, I choke them. <laughs> you're supposed to say you're a guy. I'm a guy. <laughs> fine, fine. There was a lot of sumo stickers in the other images anyway. I shouldn't let it bother me. But I was going to avoid looking at them directly too much. Alright. We've put what we've got in the stickers up on the board, but... The long distance shot of the sumo sticker looking down on the... Don't look at me case was bottom right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What? What? No, oh, it's definitely not this. Look at me case. Oh, it, it's that okay. was the one that I just chose was leaky noise. The hmm. don't look at me one was the karaoke box. The top left. Okay, makes sense. I think you get getting the case names mixed mm -hmm. up. What's that? A shot of where the sumo sticker was put up. Well, I can see that, but why? Well, I've been wondering ever since I found the thing. How did it get up there? This was the fourth floor. Couldn't they just open the window and lean out? These windows don't open. Oh, that's right. You went to do karaoke alone, didn't you? Fucking loser. <laughs> it, it wasn't karaoke alone. I didn't sing. What about the other incidents? I Ito ignored my protest and motioned for me to something. Damn it, it wasn't karaoke alone. <laughs> Next is leaky noise, I guess. Oh, we didn't have a sumo sticker for this one yet. When I'd gone to the scene two days ago on Sunday, I'd found a sticker on a nearby pole, telephone pole, like I expected. Close up footage of it is the one I used for the newspaper club video. So, that was... now it's the bottom right. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> it really was creepy up close. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. And the long range photo of it is... Is it the bottom one? Uh, maybe? Yellow? Anybody who wanted to could put that sticker up there. But... The long-range photo of the Sumo sticker for the Revolving Dead is... The left one? Mm, maybe? This was on an outside wall too. There's a window, but it's way out of reach. Yeah? Couldn't you stick it on the edge of a long pole or something and push it against the wall? Had she already finished eating all that? Well, you could, probably. But you couldn't do that at the karaoke box, could you? Blip. That wasn't the answer I was looking for. Uh, I ate a little too much. Um, what if you had a really, really long pole? 
they see you doing it. Then uh, you could dress up like the building janitor or something. First a long pole and then that. <laughs> well, it's possible, I guess. What's wrong? It's like, this whole case is so weird, but you're talking about putting stickers on a pole or dressing up like a janitor and rappelling down the side of the building or something. I just can't imagine the guy who put them up doing something so realistic. Well, that's if the guy who put them up is the same one behind all this. No, we don't know if it's the same guy putting them up. And anyway, do we need an actual criminal for this? The cops are saying that all three cases are suicides. But they're also trying to find the person who visited the room right before the Don't Look At Me case, right? And... Hold on. Roll call. Okay. I still felt like there was someone on the side of the other side of that door. Hi chat, how are you? <laughs> Hi Dre, thank you, Link, thank you. I guess I'll take a small break. Bear me. Behave! Or else. Yeah, I took a break because he's gone. You don't want to behave? Oh, Star. You wouldn't behave even if I told you to, sweetie. <laughs> no, Link, I died. I need help. Are you hearing me from the afterlife? 
<laughs> Say his name, name and he appears. I believe in Joe Hendry. I believe in Joe Hendry. I'm here, just waiting. <laughs> I'm back. Okay, we back. Welcome back. <laughs> I felt like there was some someone on the other side of that door. Like it's a message from someone who knows what's really going on. A message? I don't know what Takido was doing just before he died, but if he was in some kind of abnormal mental state like the last two cases, then something must have caused that. Like a drug or something. Oh. And then. Maybe someone who knew about the cross put up the stickers. Why? I don't know, but. Hmm. What? What do you think, then? Huh? I. So, what was the deal with those stickers around the crime scenes? Let me think. Let me think. Maybe putting up the stickers was a goal in and of itself? Huh? You know Batman, right? <laughs> Batman? That's the one where the bat transforms into a giant steel man in a red cape. He shoots out webs from his fingers to kidnap kids, right? Wrong. Batman. That is just so many superheroes. In one. <laughs> Older than one. <laughs> Batman wasn't yep. any of that. Actually, I think that's about five or six different comics mixed together. Here's the guy called the <laughs> the, Joker. the Joker. The bad guy. It's the guy called the Joker. He's a bad guy. And he, and he leaves the Joker from a deck of cards at the crime scene as his trademark. <laughs> <laughs> Even if he doesn't leave a card, his face looks like the Joker from the card deck, so either way, he can say Joker was here. 
<laughs> so, what does he transform into when he kidnaps kids? What does he transform into when he kidnaps kids? What are you talking about? <laughs> what? Well, what? A guy who looks like those sumo stickers? Society! But society look like a suicide for fun? <laughs> And then left the stickers there as his trademark? Hold on, there's a No, name. I'm just speaking hypothetically here. So, why doesn't he put the stickers on the body? Girls, kids, other girls. And no one beats him. Well, I guess my family's gonna hate him. It's a just a hypothesis, okay? <laughs> what, I and why is this all happening on the same day as New Generation Madness? <laughs> How would I know? I tried to calm Ito down. He might choke a bitch. <laughs> yeah. And that bitch is me. Anyway. <laughs> let's just go over what we know. We can talk after that. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, so it was the sumo wrestler stickers, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so it was the sumo wrestler stickers, right? Yeah, there's been one big thing. Um, that wall covered in sumo stickers was under the Shibuya Bridge, so... Hmm... picture is the only one left. Cool. The summary is it's pretty creepy when you yep, I accidentally skipped that. Uh, it's pretty creepy when you take a look at it. Have we ever seen this many at once? The sumo stickers phenomenon peaked in 2009 before the earthquake but I think even then you usually didn't see this many in one spot. Oh wait, did I read that in the wrong voice? It's okay. But... Uh... Yeah! Oh no, wait. Uh -huh. I was all in the same voice. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Right, right, right. I've never seen anything like this before. How would you know? You dumb bitch. <laughs> because Serika said it, she looked at me. <laughs> I investigated them with Taku a long time ago. Eh. We went around and looked at every single one in Shibuya, right, Taku? Wink, wink. <laughs> That's what I heard. Yeah, I guess we did. That was part of my dark history, though. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, we were pretty serious. You said there was a big mystery involved, that it was a conspiracy. Hey, you idiot! Real villainous society. A conspiracy? Don't look at me like that! It's a conspiracy theorist! You were in the sixth grade in 2009, weren't you? Were you in the urban legends back then, too? His face is a hilarious portrait meme. We looked into a lot of other stuff, too. The squirmy and the apocalyptic sound. Ahem. Getting back to the point. They haven't caught the guy who put these up yet, right? So, according to Miyashiro, he was already a poor, sad little boy in sixth grade. What do you mean I was a sad little boy? We don't know who created the sumo stickers or why, right? Uh, that's right. So, isn't it possible that they're involved in this case somehow? It's possible. Of course, it was also possible that someone other than their creator was using them. 
But they'd been at the same crime scene so far. It just felt like it had to be involved. These are the only stickers we've got right now, right? Yeah. Then here's the next step. I want to put a security camera up at the wall where all these stickers were placed. Huh? These stickers really bother me. Part of it is the fact that we've never seen so many of them in one place before, but... Um, um, I need a picture. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, wait. No, you, yeah. can, you can read it. Kazuki? Mm. Kazuki? Mm. <laughs> it sounds like an irritated girl. She was too busy playing your game. I don't know what it said. Kazuki? Mmm. Can you get me the photos of the sumo stickers from around the city we used for the video? Mm-hmm. So? More pictures. These are the stickers that were put up around town. Compare them to the ones on the wall. I wasn't going to look myself, though. I didn't want to feel sick anymore. When I realized that in my room yesterday, I'd been staring at them so long, I literally felt like I was about to throw up. It just sumo stickers, right? Then look at the ones from the crime scenes. He tried to get a careful look at the picture I showed him. Oh. So he saw it then. What? What is it? The design's different. Ito kept his eyes locked on the image. <laughs> Surprise, I'm not a sad little boy after all. Okay, time for a lecture. Yep. There are several different sumo sticker designs. This has been the case since they were first discovered. Some have beards, some are crying, some have swollen heads. There are a bunch of them. Because of that, nobody knows which one was the original sticker design. In a sense, these things are graffiti. In graffiti, it's common for someone to copy another person's work, so this happens a lot. <laughs> In that case, only the people involved know which is the original and which is the copy, but this time... The stickers on the wall and the stickers found at the crime scene match completely. Then whoever put up the ones at the crime scene is the same guy who put them up on this wall? No, we don't know that. It might be a coincidence. There are some other stickers around Shibuya with an identical design. Ito sighed, disappointed. Then, but isn't it weird that there's so many? More than there's ever been? If it's the same guy, then this means... Then that means this may be where the next crime takes place. And if we could get a video of it happening, it would be the biggest scoop imaginable. That's true, I guess. But are you sure about this? About what? If we put up a camera in the middle of the city without permission, that's an invasion of privacy, right? Shouldn't we at least wait until the next new generation date on the 10th? This is going way beyond what a school club's supposed to do. Don't talk like Caruso. When to what, Link? <laughs> I am talking like Karusu. What happens if they catch us? I don't want to get killed. Aww, I'm telling you, you're too scared of non, right, Hana? <laughs> See? 
No, she's clearly not listening. Don't worry about Karusu. She hasn't been coming after us lately anyways. That's true, but... This means this is our big chance, right? Yeah. If we don't start thinking of it that way, we may miss out. Ito smiled as if he'd gotten over his doubt. So what's the plan with the camera? We can't use the club's camera. Want to use yours? Yeah, I bought some motion-activated cameras for home security and ended up with an extra. So I brought it with me. It's got a battery long enough to last until October 10th. Okay. Should we go right now, then? Oh. About that. And you're so cute. Um, can you go by yourself? No. <laughs> uh, what are you going to do? I'm going to talk to Arimura. Yesterday I was too busy with that video and the sumo stickers to do it. Hmm. Ito looked surprised and fell silent for a moment. Well, I know there's a lot of stuff you want to ask her, but... <laughs> but when we met her last <laughs> week in the student council room, she, like... I don't know how to say it, she seemed a little strange... and imposing. Didn't you think she was scary? Yeah? I could tell what Ito was trying to say. Hinai Arimura had been a cheerful girl, at least when she was talking to Karusu, but the second I'd brought up the Love Hotel incident... You're going to die. I'm kidding. So you were the Heiko student who came into the room? 
Everything about her changed. Her voice was flat and emotionless, telling me nothing about what she was really thinking. And... The zoom up again. <laughs> You're going to be killed, Takurumi Ashiro. You're going to die. Alone in a ditch somewhere. She told you something back then, didn't she? Does that have something to do with it? No, nothing. She didn't say anything. Ito's thoughts, on the other hand, were extremely easy to follow. He didn't believe a word I said. Well, whatever. Mm -hmm. You two were the ones who were in the room with her. What matter? <laughs> I'd call BS. Do you know how prices are such a camera you don't just buy an extra one, too? He must have come up with some probable answer that satisfied him. But can you go by yourself? You know you're going to end up tripping over your own words. Oh, I'll go with him, Taku. You're not used to Arimura yet, are you? Sh shut up. Thanks for hanging out, Titus. Bye. No Have fun with Have Star. A good night, everybody. You too. Bye. Okay, guys. Um. Yeah, for sure. My model broke the second you left call. Wait, not my model. My PNG broke. Hello? Do you guys hear me? Uh, like, everything just broke the moment like he left like it just i don't know if you heard me or if my mic was working that was weird i don't know my png just went poop we are about 
I don't think we're 22 hours in. That's just the time. I don't know how many hours I have in this game. Okay, so I saved on chapter 2. So I'm going to have to remember to pick it back up from chapter 2. We have... What do you mean you're going to bother me? No, you ain't. <laughs> I'm, I'm dipping out now. <laughs> I have 11.2 hours in there. Okay, guys. No, it's totally fine. Yeah, that's... I, I I know. It's okay. That's so stupid. And his crappy roommate. Anyway, guys. Thanks for hanging out. I will see you guys tomorrow morning at uh, 11. I believe... Let me check schedule. I am gonna try to finish the letter. But knowing how long Luke's chapter is... um, Either we split it into two streams and do it another day and we do most of it tomorrow. Or I don't know. I don't think we can finish it in one stream. I'm sorry. But we'll try. Um, bye, guys. Just have to be quiet. That sucks. Anyway, bye.